Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard. Oh, Anyone who's not watching is probably not knowing what's going on. Yeah. That does sound, think about what this sounds like. That doesn't sound like anything. It honestly just sounds like if I drink a lot of water, I'm sit shocked. Down. I'm shocked that you don't like remember when kids would do that to like pantomime jerking off in high school when they'd be like, oh, fuck. It was like, oh, anyway, if that- uh, <laughs> fucking guys, uh, go out there, go get yourself some everything bagel hot sauce, the new hot sauce that me and Greg made. It just fucking dropped. Uh, you can go to secrethandshake.shop or go to theheatness.com to get it. Um, it's fucking delicious. It's God really damn. good. God damn. I swear to God, I can, I can just have it just like this all day, every yeah, day. I, I just had a bagel. Shit. I just had a bagel with scallion cream cheese. Ooh. Ooh. Threw that son of a bitch on there. That just honestly like. That's a good wake up. Bing bonged my throat. You almost, did you get a new shirt? Yes. Good. Well, that's what you get. That's what you get for wearing a pretentious shirt with the sun on it. We know that you believe in Fuck. Things. Oh no, your white shirt has hot sauce on it. It's vinegar. It'll come out, babe. Don't worry about it. I'm scared. <laughs> By the way, vegan and gluten free for you assholes. <laughs> <laughs> that was good. That was good. Uh, again, congrats on the hot sauce announcement. I'm a fucking idiot. Take dude. your shirt off. I'm sure no one would be upset. I've been getting a lot of gay follows recently. Have you been getting gay follows? No, yeah. You want, you want to, you want to oh, blow, you know why? Blow this on it? No, you think I'm going to clean this thing? I think so. Relax, Grandma. You'll just, you'll just buy the, the company. <laughs> no, uh, I've been getting a lot of gay follows, but I think it's because there was a clip from our podcast that went like super viral on my Instagram, mm-hmm. and it was the one where you were smelling my pits. And I think that like there's like a, a sector of the gay community that's really into smelling pits. I almost have an idea that it's not just the sector of the gay community that's into that. I bet there are real... Uh, other real, real. No, Tell us about the I was fake gonna say, gay. I was gonna yeah. say real freaks oh. in the heterosexual community that also are into that, where they're into, just like just fucking farting my farting my toothpaste and just dis- disgust me. Yeah, two dudes just sniffing each other's arm pussies. Yeah, there. I, I gotta imagine that there are people that not. There's got to be a correlation between freaks like that mm-hmm. and the arm smelling variety and like. People that like still listen to like insane clown posse and shit like that. Wow, yeah, no, there's probably a they have a cult following too. If there's someone who's watching this podcast that's into ICP, they're gonna fuck you. The up. Juggalos are coming for us. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's what they're called. That's what they're called, the Juggalos. And uh, I'd like to paint my face. I haven't done that in years. Um, when was the last time you painted your face? Uh, uh for one of Miles's birthdays. Last time you painted your face was last Halloween when you went I... as Sammy Davis Jr. <laughs> That was really good. God, I was so happy I got that. I was so up. confused. I'm like, what the, out of all people, Sammy Davis Jr. That's the first person of color I thought of. Oh, my God. That is fucking hilarious. <laughs> no, Can you I, imagine? Who the fuck are you? I'm, I'm Sammy Davis Sammy Jr. Davis Jr., baby. <laughs> I can't even, I'm not even going to try to do the impression. Yeah. Uh, no, I, I think it was probably for one of Miles' birthdays. I haven't. Like, I want to get, like, a butterfly on my face or something. You know what I mean? Just get a real tattoo on your face. Oh, I can't. I, do you think, because you, you, over the last... Five years have gotten more tattoos. Yeah. When was that? That was about five, six years ago, right? Um. Yeah. You, do you think you'll ever creep forward, like toward face no, tattoos? No, 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 no. You're not about it. I, I, the only possible thing that I could ever think of is like, um, like, like a neck thing, but never. Like I couldn't. I, you I think that's the closest you'd get to the face? I would never do the like. I would never even consider the face. But I, I do like this like spot behind your thing. But I'm not like I'm not that like, type of dude. Uh, who is that? Glaber Torres has like you know some like writing. I think that kind of like goes like from his neck behind his ear. And yeah, stuff I don't like know. That. Justin Bieber has one that's like. It says something it like. It says like patience or yeah, something. Yeah, something know. so like stupid. Yeah. Like who needs patience? It says like grace, and it's like Jesus. Who's mm-hmm. that? Grace. Oh, you oh, mean like, like grace, leading, like the Lord living, grace, living with the Lord's yeah, grace. Yeah, like I'm, ha- I have, your, I'm accepting your grace. What do you, what is, what is that? I don't know. I think grace is just like a holy cool thing. Like well, you know, they're like, cool yo, way. say grace, and then you're like, okay, and then you do a prayer. But like, so then what is grace, bro? I, I thought think, grace was just kind of like you're like, you know. Like I think you're, grace is like the act of like, yeah, like you're living, floaty. Yeah, like you're living like that. You don't really step. You just kind of glide with like the like the love of the Lord. Is like I live with grace. I I I, pr- I prance around with grace. Amen. Bingo. Yeah. I I don't mean I don't know what it is, but I think that's what it's. I'm like. not quite sure what it is either. But you know you know where there's not a whole lot of grace going on right now, Joey. That is in Japan. Uh, I was gonna say North Korea. Well, yeah, that one <laughs> different kind of 
yes. non graceful activities. Why was going on in Japan? But you well, for, I I love to go to Japan one day. I'll go to Japan. I think we have maybe a fan in Japan. We can go and get the hookup, right? We gotta get like take a flight over. Even though that flight would be pretty brutal, it'd be brutes. But that would be a fun time. Yeah, why not? Uh, but so there is the beginnings of a civil war going on in Japan. And what? Yeah, and it is between the human population and the monkeys. Do Planet of the Apes type shit? Yes. Do and they like, have guns? Bro. So as of like the last couple of weeks, there have been numerous stories developing about monkeys and I don't know the type of monkeys, so don't fucking attacking people like violently and stealing their children. Whoa, stealing their children, bro. stealing their young, bro. They're and they're and like they've like tried to like give. Are them, they like, training the children? I don't know what they're doing with the kids, dude. But they're like trying to like get them to stop. Like, yo, chill, chill, chill. Here's you know, here's a melon because Japan has like cool melons and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah, you know, here's a, a tangerine. I think dragon can, fruit. Dragon fruit. I Racist. Don't, I don't know where I that see is. See what you did. I thought that was it. Is it? No. I don't know where it's dragon from. fruit's a tropical fruit. <laughs> I'm sure they have it over there, but the fact that you went there, boy, oh boy. I don't know. Whoever's editing this episode is going to be working overtime. Okay, I didn't say dragon because of like Chinese New Year or whatever. I was saying like, and also that's a different country. It is. I was saying dragon fruit because I feel like I've seen a lot of cooking videos where they put dragon fruit in I shit. I will say, I do see their cooking videos where they chop stuff up really, uh, up really fine. They're, Honestly, very, they're very good at chopping. The sauce kind of looks like dragon fruit a bit. Um, no a dragon little, fruit a in bit, it. No dragon bit. fruit in it, though. I, do you like dragon fruit? Or pitaya. I had it once, but I don't remember what it tastes like. Exactly. It doesn't have a taste. It really? tastes like nothing. That's that's underwhelming. It's good. I've had it a couple times. They're but like big. there's no they can't and they're fucking expensive, dude. A single dragon fruit can be like five, six bucks. The fuck that. Yeah, it's not that good to, in order to keep it going. However Favorite fruit go. Uh three, two, one. Oranges. Oh, I was gonna say uh watermelon. Watermelon. That's a good one. And I don't like regular... They're annoying, though. You got to cut it. You got to like, like... Yeah, but I don't like, like regular-ass oranges. Like, I like the little bo- little babies. Clementines. Clementines? Is that what they are? The California kiwis? Or what's the other one? Tapid... What's it? Tangerines. Tangeri- tapioca, I was I don't say. know what why you were going... What the fuck am I talking fucking about? types of yogurt. Tapioca? Tapioca. That's like a little yogurt. Oh, I thought it was like a plant. I don't know anything, bro. Yeah, we know. Uh, so, uh, but like the, the, the monkeys over there are just like stealing people. And, I gotta like, look this kids. up. It gets better. Are they killing kids? Because that would be fucking dope. I don't know if they're kill. What? I'm just saying, of like a, a war between man and monkey is fucking sick. Bro, I've seen those movies, the most recent ones. I know how it turns out. Not looking so good for humans. Oh, man. I made a joke, but this is like, you're being serious. Yeah. So, Damn, dude. They're fucking stealing kids. They're stealing kids. And Japan has started arming people with tasers. Oh, no, you got to get me a gun, bro. And they found the leader of the monkey tribe and fucking assassinated him. This is fucking sick. I'm sorry, but this is dope, bro. And guess where they found the leader of the monkey tribe? Hiding in a children's school. Get the fuck out of bro, here. Bro, it's fucking crazy out there. I swear to God, we are break- We might be breaking the news to you guys here. First, Yo, we didn't hear about this. This is the start of the world war. Dude. I don't know the numbers. People to monkeys. Here's what I do know: like one on one with monkeys, I, th- I, I don't know. Listen, I I've, will say this though: I've spoken. If they chew, if imagine animals were like, nah, we're done yeah. with this shit. We're dead. Uh, you some, can't beat you can't beat animals, bro. No, we got we've got. Bro, if all the animals charged us, if now if they you I've seen those War of the Planet of the Eight movies. First of all, they're fucking good. Second of all, if they start figuring out how to use guns. Then we're in trouble. Yeah, we're dead. Because there's a lot of power lines. Look at a city like New York. A lot of power lines. They got the height advantage. We're done. We're toast. Uh, no, We've got over. nothing. But this is the thing. I've spoken about this openly in another episode. You can go check out. It might even have been a Patreon episode at patreon.com slash the basement yard. If you sign up now, you get these weekly episodes a week in advance and then exclusive content every single Friday. But I've spoken about it. And the only way we have a chance with monkeys is to gaslight them. Okay. Is to gaslight him. Now listen, that's the only way we have a chance. Frank, gorilla comes they're in stealing this room. children. I listen to what I'm saying. What would you do? What would you? you children you would don't st- have the capacity to gaslight yet. Idiot. I'm saying they're smart enough 
to take the children. They know that they're the future. They're killing the future, Frank. They are. And they found the leader in the in the school of children. You think that's a coinky dink? I don't. This guy went in there full on ready to just be like, like, he went to the belly of the beast. He was like, yo, you want to take kids? I know a building that has all of the kids. That's so wild, dude. Bro, if we lose the ability to gaslight them, what do we got? Because monkeys are like five times stronger than the, the average human. Not all monkeys. Gorillas. Bro, if Bro, we're going not- up against like capuchins, no problem. I bring a tennis racket, we win the war. What the fuck is a capuchin? The little guy, the little you know, like oh, the, the ones they put diapers on and shit. Yeah, yeah, oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah capuchins, but they, we have a chance. I don't know, man. If a monkey starts like crawling all over me, I'll get freaked out, bro. If a monkey starts crawling all over you, you take it and you just fucking throw it. I know, but I would be like icked. Like already, the hairs on the back of my you don't neck like, are like yeah, eh. you don't like being. I don't like crawly stuff. You don't like crawly I would much stuff. rather be attacked by a gorilla. Would you? If I could live. No, but that's the that's the problem. A gorilla will probably be like, oh, hello, here's your neck, there's your head. Oh, well, if it bites me, it's over. But I think that they would just drag me Fuck around. Fuck a biting. They'll just tear your fucking jaw open and then take your brain out through your mouth. That would probably hurt a bit. A little bit. I mean, you wouldn't feel it. It would be pretty instantaneous. Dude. Or the jaw part would hurt. Um, but, like, they are legitimately... So, they found the leader of the monkey tribe that's doing all this shit, and they assassinated him. They shot him? And it got worse. What got worse? The oh, well, fucking you... attacks. They were like, yo, you're coming for our boy? Bet. They promoted a new leader. And the, <laughs> I swear to God. And the attacks have gotten worse. So they're arming more people in Japan with fucking weapons to fight the monkeys. Guys, here's the thing, right? We joke around on the show mm-hmm. and we whatever, blah, blah, blah. And I don't know much about monkeys, but... He knows nothing about monkeys. No, like I think if I sat down and had to take like a for real test in front of people and, and be serious, you know, I could assume some things. I am so far removed that I did not think that they were capable of like this sort of thing. This is going to sound wildly fucking stupid. I didn't think they had the capacity to be like, you killed our king. We're going to start fucking stealing your children. Like, I didn't know that they could like, you know what I'm saying? Like monkeys now have a monkey Jesus, dude. Who's the guy? Him, 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 I'm going to let you Harambe. No, not, not Harambe, bro. The guy, the eye for an eye. Him, 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 No, I'm going to let you try to figure it out. It's Hama. 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 It's Hama. I know what it is. Yes. It's Hama. Hama. Hammurabi. Hammurabi. Fucking bitch. Eye what? for an eye. Hammurabi's code. If you guys don't look it up, but most of the I didn't know American they, penal system is based off of it. I didn't know that they had one of those, too. They have their own Hammurabi. Bro, now, Japanese monkeys have their own martyr. They have their Jesus, dude. That's fucking nuts. They have their Jesus who was just like, yo, like, I was trying, because, like, we don't know why they're taking kids, but you got to admit it's some diabolical Yeah, they're shit. easy to take. Well, yeah, duh. They're self, they're harmless. They don't fight back. They, they don't fight scream, back. They scream. They shit. Yeah. You have to imagine that these monkeys are now like, bro, you you died trying to do what you believe to be right. You're our monkey Jesus now. And now, I mean, look at some of these people that are like super like hardcore Jesus fans that are like, I'll do anything for them. That's a dangerous fucking, that's a dangerous place to be. Bro, Japan's going to have their own little January 6th up in there soon, it sounds like. Yeah. What was that like, by the way? Yeah, because I was there. <laughs> uh, Bro, isn't this fucking crazy? That's crazy to that's yeah, that's honestly. So wild. they promoted a new leader. Thank God it was them and not the birds, dude. Nah, fuck the birds. The Bro, fr- there's way birds, more birds. birds. Bros, birds don't have thumbs. Bro, you're gonna tell me monkeys can grab four guns, one with each hand, one with each foot, and fire and kill you. That's fair, but I will say a hundred birds fly at you, you're dead. No. You gonna kill a hundred birds? Give me one weapon. You're gonna have to grab a bird and use that. No. You could definitely fight off like five birds. Bro, a hundred birds? I'll be hurt. I'm not dying. Hurt? I'm not dying. They're gonna pluck your. You'll be blind because they're gonna pluck those little no, pretty beady them, eyes I out. I close them real tight. You're gonna cl- You're gonna fight in the dark. I'll fight, and then I mean, if there's a hundred of them, if I swing, chances are I'm hitting at least twenty. I don't know that I could, I could, I'd probably just lay down and accept it. Listen, if monkeys are smart enough to listen to podcasts, I don't know why you're doing what you're doing. 
But quite take frankly, it easy. chill, because kids go for like the bad people. You know what I'm saying? Like Fight crime. Who's the Japanese Donald Trump? Bro, I I don't know, but they just had a guy get assassinated too. That's right, they did. The prime man. Was it a monkey? Bro, what if monkeys start putting on like human costumes now? Nah, this dude had like Hold a, on. This dude had a homemade shotgun. What if monkeys now can do like that thing they do in all the kids' movies where like they put one on the shoulders and a trench coat and a hat and they go start to see like R rated movies and shit and that's where they get their ideas from? Maybe, I don't know, but uh, that's crazy that there's been two assassinations, two assassinations in Japan. Like one with the people, the leader of the people, and then the leader of the monkeys. If I'm the leader of the fucking, like, pandas, I'd be like, bro. Bro, the monkeys and the pandas right now are talking. They're like, yo, you get all the bamboo you want. We won't fuck with you. Just, like, help us take these people out. Yo, I fuck with pandas a lot, too. Yeah, they're cute. They roll around. They're dumb idiots. You ever see them eat bamboo? Unless they listen. Then they're real cool. No, they're probably smart as shit. You think they're listening? God damn it. I, they're not dumb idiots. No, but I think that pan pandas are... Also, I heard they're vicious. Yeah, bro, they're a bear. I want to hug that motherfucker. I know, and then you would have no back. Yeah. You would have to give up your back for a hug from a, a, a panda bear. Sounds like some prison stuff. Yeah, that's. I think that's actually ex probably terminology in the prison Yeah, world. I don't know. But I, I fuck with pandas really hard. I watched a video of a panda eating some bamboo. It looks fun. And it was like a TikTok, so it like loops. But the loop was kind of like legit. Yeah. And I had no idea, but like eight minutes had passed by. And I'm like, this video is long. Aren't, tic I was gonna say, aren't TikToks like 30 seconds back? They can be max three minutes. This one wasn't. It was probably 40 seconds. But I sat there and watched it for they, mad long. They do make bamboo look delicious. I believe they're the only animal on the planet that consumes bamboo. And bamboo is one of the fastest growing plants on the planet. So like we need the pandas. You ever, oh, see, you ever been like randomly driving in like fucking Long Island and there's just a field of bamboo? What? Bro, there's in Jersey, people plant bamboo and it just fucking grows like wildfire. Really? Yeah, dude. It spreads like wildfire and it grows like insane. And basically once it starts growing, you, there's nothing you can do. It's like, it's going to dig take. it up, bro. Cause the sprouts live underground, bro. Dig up the ground. You think we're going to lose a I'm war sure, to the I'm fucking sure. bamboo? Bro, I'm, I'm worried about monkeys who can shoot guns. I'm You're sure, worried about the bamboo. I'm sure, but it's all part of this fucking Japanese monkey conspiracy. Because one minute there's bamboo in South Jersey. The next minute there are fucking monkeys flying around in South Jersey in the, in the bamboo no. with guns and shooting and taking babies. No, dude. This is how it starts. What is it? The war The animal uprising. The animal uprising, the war of the planet of the apes. I think we lose that battle, bro. Bro, duh. Like, Except you, we learn to... Like, as soon as you reload your gun, you're dead. Like, you can defend yourself with a gun. Listen, I watched the most recent Planet of the Apes movies, and the main monkey in there, I believe his name is Caesar. He was really kind and compassionate, and you could reason with him. You could be like, yo, like, please let us live. And they're like, yeah, okay. There are other bad apes yeah um that wouldn't be so cool about that i think mm. one of them was actually named bad ape no he was a good one but then there bad was bad ape was the good ape yeah cuz he was treated bad he was kept as like a prisoner and they called him bad ape and he was voiced by steve zahn but then there are other ones i believe uh what was the other one's name good ape Co kobe Co coco nope that was the gorilla that kobe was cool with uh robin williams yeah yeah um i forgot the the bad one's name but they'll fucking tell you, bro. Like, yo, we can... Bro, stealth? Ninjas, dude? Monkey ninjas, dude? Uh, they're in... Wait, they're not ninjas. If they, bro, if they want to be ninjas, they'll be fucking ninjas, bro. You know how quiet monkeys can be if they want to be? Bro, monkeys are pretty loud. If they want to be, dude. Do you want to hear a crazy story about a monkey once? Yeah. I was at the zoo with my family. Uh, Like, my whole family went to the Bronx Zoo. And there was a crowd of people around the monkey, <clears throat> the monkey exhibit. And we go up to it, and a monkey shit in its hand. Yeah. Threw it into the crowd, and it hit my aunt. Damn. What was, are your cool aunts, or? No. Ah, right. no, she's cool. She likes wine. She's all right. <laughs> <laughs> she's all right. She's all right. I don't know enough. I don't have a big enough sample size of this aunt. Gotcha. But it hit her right in the fucking head. 
Damn. Yeah, like, so was it monkey... like a sh- was it like a sloppy shit or was it just like a turd? Like a like did it go like sh- splat? No, it wasn't. Or was like it like a, a punt? No, it was it was more of like a you know, it may have been like old shit. Uh, I'll tell you this, somehow worse. What an old shit! I'd rather get hit by a fresh one than no. I no, I'd rather no. get hit by an old shit. It just yeah. bounces off of you. Yeah, it's been it's subject to the elements at that point. Yeah, dude. Let it, let it. You know what I thought about the other day? I haven't seen white dog shit in years, dude. Was that like only in the nineties? Because I haven't seen one white dog shit. Uh, I feel like what movie was that? Step Brothers, where yeah. he makes them lick the white dog shit. Yeah, but dude, that's what I'm saying. I would see white dog shit. I've seen more white human shit than I have white dog shit. What the hell did you no, say? No, not, not more. The same. It's Frankie, a one-to-one ratio. You're only supposed to be seeing your own white shit. No. So, we might have told this story a couple times. I will tell it again. There was a prominent house in Astoria of a friend that was, let's just say it, basically a trap house. Oh, okay, yes. And you saw an old white shit. And a, f- a friend of ours shit in a bag as a joke. Classic. Ha, ha, ha. Tied the bag. Threw it across the room. Perfect. Where it remained for a number of months. Perfect. Until it was then found those period of t- a period of time later by the same individual who observed quite keenly that it was now white. Uh, and that was a rough day for everyone that was there as the smell was putrid uh, and quite frankly hard to, hard to stomach. I'd say so. Um, but I, I don't really know if I've seen as much white dog shit I haven't seen white dog shit, man. I think that, like, in 1998 was my last one, and I haven't seen one since. I see this. I, I have a dog. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm walking around. I'm paying attention to the trees because he's shitting on them or, like, next to them. You know mm-hmm, what I mean? Mm-hmm. He's not one of those dogs that, bro, thank God for my dog. My dog's normal. Yeah. My dog will go, and he'll shit on grass. Other people be crossing the street, and all of a sudden the dog decides I'm going to shit in the crosswalk. What? Yeah. What kind of idiot dog? What a, it's a dumb dog. And then you got fucking your car runs over it, and then you're just tracking dog shit all over the streets. I know. It's Give just, New York City a bad name. Let me bro, tell you. I saw a woman pulling her dog across the crosswalk while it was trying to shit. So he's like on skates. And she's embarrassed because she's trying to get him. This is in Manhattan, by the way. Oh. There's people all around. There's cars waiting to go. And this dog is trying his best to take a, a, a mini shit because mm-hmm. it was a small puppy. And uh, she was just pulling him, and he kept just shitting a little bit, just shitting across the thing. Oh. I'm like, what are we doing here? That's worse. That's somehow worse. Get this dog some fucking Why grass. Why have we not made, like, a like a thing you can put behind? Like, you know how the horses in New York have Diapers. Thing? No. Oh, you want to make, like, a little pail. A little pail that just stays behind them that they shit in. I don't know if you're like this. Or they if, squat. Or if it's just my luck. But anytime I see a dog shitting, that dog and I make eye contact, and it's very uncomfortable. Apparently, dogs stare at you because he sh- he stares at me when he takes shits, and he's like, "Yo, you watching my back?" Uh, apparently, it's like a safety thing. Like, uh, oh, like, they're in a vulnerable state. Yeah, they're like, "Yo, make sure you're watching me because I'm shitting right now." And I'm like, "I know." Of all animal shit that you've seen, what is the most like a human? Is it dog? Gotta imagine it's dog. Yeah, I haven't seen many animals shit. I've Frank. seen dog. I've seen cat. I've seen rabbit. I've seen giraffes shitting. I've seen cow. I've seen... You know what's crazy about giraffes when they shit? It falls like fucking like a half a f- block. No, nah, they like slap that shit with their tail. No, that's hippos and rhinos, That's what it dude. is. Bro, hippos. Hippos fuck. like <laughs> fucking have their tail like a propeller. Yeah, and they like chop it up. And it chops it. And not only chops it up, but like hippos got huge asses. Yo, biggest ass in the animal kingdom. So like it comes out like basically it fucking gets like food process out of its ass cheeks and then it just gets sent through the spinner. You ever see those videos on TikTok of people like uh, unclogging a big storm drain? Oh yeah. Those are dope. But that's what a rhino shitting is like. That, it is. It, like literally it, there's like roots in it. Like hay. Yeah. Oh man. Hay in I don't this. know. I don't know why they choose to show us them shitting. Yeah, that's not my fucking my favorite. But man, I'm telling you, if you're not on the wrong side of history, if monkeys are are listening to this right now, I think you should chill with the kids. I'm on your team though. I'm on team monkey. Fuck that. But if push comes to shove, all I'm saying is, I don't like humans either, man. We're kind of not the greatest. If I like mon- a select group of humans. If monkeys pull up on you and they're like, "We need one," who's going? <laughs> Charlie. I'll give up your fucking dog. Because it pulled up on you. Yeah, I'll be like, oh, my dog. My boy has it right now, though. He's up in New York. 
Yeah, the, I'm sure the monkeys would be like, okay, and just leave. Yeah, well, no, if they got, if they're coming, I'll be like, yo, monkeys, like, I'm ready to fight to protect my kids. Of course, I'll fight a monkey, a monkey, a chimp. Yeah, one I have chimp. a chance. Yeah, I'll fight a chimp. A fist fight? Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. they got like weird arms. If I get my fucking hand in its eye, make it run away or something, I'll be like, fuck you. No, you know dude, I mean? I'm swinging for fucking hell or high water, man. I don't care. And I got legs. Yo, I'm taller than them, bro. Time out. Time out. And I don't know. I know we keep jumping from topic to topic, but this is involved with animals and fighting and shit. I saw a video this morning of two women in a kayak and a fucking whale swallowed them, but they survived. Wait, what? I would do legit anything for that to happen to me. Oh, yeah? A hundred percent. Okay. With the surviving part? Because chances are yes. you're going down that fucking gullet and out the blowhole. Dude, they don't shit out their blowhole, you I know idiot. they don't, you dummy. I'm talking about fucking uh, Pinocchio. If, but if I, if I can get shot out of a blowhole, I will do that. I will definitely do that. I'll get if shot it out of a blowhole. If it said, yo, you will live a hundred percent, you're getting shot out the blowhole. Without a doubt, I'm you're doing You're getting it. swallowed by that damn whale? Without question. But if I was on a kayak and a fucking thing swallowed me, and it was on video, two people got a video, they had like GoPros or something, and someone else was in a kayak next to them and was filming the entire thing, I would do anything for that. How? How'd they get out? God knows. How did, well, first of all, a kayak, it's basically shaped like a fucking pill. It's, it's designed to go down the throat. Yeah, that's an aspirin for the that's old That's what play. I'm saying. So you have to imagine that that was probably the easiest part to get down because that's coated in like plastic and stuff. It'll, it'll slide right back down. Dude, it's scary because when a, when a, when a whale is breaching, all of the fucking uh, fish are getting to the surface trying to get away. So it's like, shh, shh, like the water gets like crazy because of all the fish. Yo, I would. And then a fucking whale's mouth just. <laughs> Bro, I don't know what sound. I swear, I'm not even kidding when I say this. I I. I can't. Like, I would. That would be so fire to me, yeah? dude. Yeah, fucking good for you. I would le legitimately never go near a body of water again. Dude. A, a fucking ocean, lake, a bath. You're not getting me near it. Yo, that would be so sick. No, it wouldn't. Because think about it like this: they're stuck in that thing's stomach. Who's they? They're out, bro. They survived. How, dude? They got out. I don't know. They but fucking. How did they out. fucking get out? They slipped out. Do you think they fought their way out, or they got shit out? Frankie, come on. Use your brain here. But. The chance that they didn't, you're stuck in a whale's mouth. It's I'm not scared. saying I what the chance. I'm on edge right now. He just moved and scared me, Joey. <laughs> I'm not saying the chance. I'm saying, tell me that I'll survive this. I'm saying that's the cool thing. Obviously, dying by whale mouth is not that sick. It actually is kind of fucking dope. It's cool. Wait, that's a great story and yeah. good on an epitaph. I love it because no one would believe it. It's like, how do you die? It's like, well, you got you get swallowed by a, by a whale, dude. Immediately. Can you imagine like a famous person died by getting eaten by a whale and then... Everyone would be like, that's kind of fishy. I think it was a vaccine. Well, no you know what I mean? They'd be like, no, nah, you got yeah. eaten by a whale. Maybe like two weeks after the vaccine. <laughs> <laughs> Don't think so. Yeah, so. Uh, but if you can tell me that I'm on a kayak and a fucking whale on video of a, a whale eats me, but I somehow get out and then I swim to the surface and I go, yo, did you see that? A fucking whale just ate me, but I got out. That's I the coolest story ever. I wouldn't be cool with girls that. Girls would never believe that. You try to hit on girls and be like, yeah, whale. Yeah, you I see this scar? That's whale. That's whale bristle. Yeah, and she's like, nah, bro. Yeah, because whales don't have teeth. They have like big, like, you know, like those push like brooms? Like paintbrushes. They have like push brooms in their mouth. And it's like basically like you're just getting mauled to death. And then you go in their stomach and there's probably acid. Of course there's I'm acid. I'm doing this. I'm holding on to the walls. Holding on to the walls. I'm making that thing throw up. Well, well, I mean, dude, they just open their mouth and swallow. I don't think they have a gag reflex. I'm holding on. You think you think whales don't have a gag reflex, dude? No, nah, no. Nah, I don't nah. know. I think you're wrong on that. No. Nah. I, I think you're super wrong, dude. I'm making that thing throw up so hard. I'll make it go breach again, and then when it's up there, I climb out, jump out. You've always been very realistic with the way you handle animals, so uh, that just... Of course you would do that. Well, I'm just saying... You like, would get to the top and you'd open up and you go... Oh. I'm not saying I'm opening him up. I would do something to promote it to go up. So, like, hold on to its tongue. You know, start scratching Clog at Clog the blowhole. Clag, clag the back hole. <laughs> <laughs> clag the I'm going to clag the back hole. You got to clog the hole so clog. it's like, yo, I can't breathe. Yeah, exactly, exactly. And yeah, then clog. let it breathe a little. Just shove my arm in the blowhole. So yeah. it's like, you know, trying to blow out. Yeah. And then it fucking goes up and sneezes. And I go with it. Do whales sneeze? I think that's what the blowhole is. I thought that was just like breathing, dude. What the fuck is the blowhole? Breath. It's like a second mouth, like a gill or something. I don't know, bro. Or maybe because they swallow <laughs> so much air. 
They gotta like They have to like Get it out It's like a When buses like Release their brakes Or whatever Bingo Yeah When buses stop And open a door And you're like <laughs> Exactly That's the bus blow hole Got it That's what it is Alright I just think that We need to be prepared For if the war On monkeys Comes to the United States Although I don't think We have many we Indigenous no, we don't. monkeys We have zero Indigenous <clears throat> monkeys Yeah I don't I don't think so So we just need to be Just careful Yeah but you know, there's definitely monkeys down in Florida. Like they got little kind of jungle areas down there, right? Yeah, but I don't think that's like indigenous. I think they like they put them there. Although you know, this country doesn't really have a very uh, pristine relationship with anything indigenous to it. So that's right. Yeah. So you, you ain't wrong could have there. gotten rid of all the monkeys. Yeah. No let's idea. just make sure they don't talk to the buffalo because then we got a problem. Yeah. You know, big time. The buffalo are gonna roam right through us. That's an animal that you can't beat. Give me... A gun you could, obviously... Yes, I'm saying. But, like, give me, like, 30 minutes to think about it, and I guarantee I could figure out a way to beat it. Because they have horns. So they have literally a fucking steering wheel to snap their neck. So you grab those horns... Oh! Right they're, there. They're right there. You just said it. You just answered your own question. <laughs> yeah. You answered my question. What, what, what I was, was going to your... say, hey, how are you going to snap their neck? And you said, just grab their horns. Just grab the horns. How are you going to just grab their uh, bull's horns? Well, they have, so they have like matted hair, kind of like, uh, you know, it's like very easily climbable. Grab a hold of it, get on the top, grab the horns, and just fucking bank. Wow. You figured it out. I... You might be the most delusional person I've ever met. No, I know it would be hard. I'm not saying it wouldn't be hard. I'm not saying it'd be easy, but it's possible. That a charging bull, you're going to step out of the way. Not a bull. Hold on. I didn't say bull. Climb its hair. I said a buffalo. You're going to climb its hair like Rapunzel. I'm going to do the classic, you know, like, come get me, come get me. I move out of the way. Boom. Right into the drywall. Okay. Right into the drywall. The classic come at me. It's doing the, you know, like it's stuck in there, like its head is stuck. That's when you get on top of it. It gets out. I grab the, the horns. You think you could snap a bull's neck? I didn't say bull. I said a buffalo. Okay. One is significantly more violent. Who cares? I think I, I think a bull, you need to be a little... You need to use some like decoys. I'll put like a fake cow out so it sees it. It's like, God. where'd you get a fake cow? You can go to any of these fucking like, you know, farmers markets. They got one out there. Or I can, or or I can just get that that Italian guy stand that's at every pizza place. You know this guy? <laughs> Yo, I'm saying one time. And I would take, I'd tip him over, spray paint white, a couple black dots. They wouldn't tell the difference, bro. <laughs> one time, I don't know if you were with me, but I went through this one summer. I think I was like 18 or 19 where whenever you would go to a house party, I'd be like, I'm stealing something. Yeah. Because it was just funny to me, but I would steal like stupid shit. I wouldn't steal like yeah, you valuables. Would, yes. But there was You'd one steal time. you like a spoon. No, I would steal all the spoons. Oh, okay. There was one time I did <laughs> so that. So not funny. There was one time I did that where I took all of the spoons that I could find. Okay. And I'm like, these people eventually are like, or maybe I left some spoons, but for, for someone to be like, where the fuck? We had 30 spoons. Yeah. Where are they? They're all That good. was funny to me. One time I took a TV remote. I was like, they're going to be pissed about that. Honestly, it is funny. I yeah. will be the first person to say it. And is. I remember one time, I was an idiot. I remember one time I was at a house party and people were trying to convince me to steal this one of those statues. They had one in their house where it was like a little guy holding the pizza. And I was like, this would be really funny, but I'm not going to do it. Yeah, that would be a little tough. Yeah. I retired. That was only one summer. I thought it was funny, and everyone everyone thought it was funny. And you know me and attention, so well, I was like, yeah. Yeah, and if, if it was funny for you, it would have been fucking way worse for me. <laughs> because they're, that's cute. They were telling you to steal spoons while I was being told to dive through fucking tables with drinks on them. Yeah, Frank would have been like, I will find the deed to this house and burn it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sweet. They have a basement. would be hilarious if water filled it up. Yeah. Well, that also happened, but that was an accident. Wait, what? Our, we threw a house party at our friend's grandma's house, and we accidentally flooded the whole basement. What? How do I not know this? You don't know this? I don't I, I you know. You know whose I, friend's grandma's house I know house who is. you're referencing. Yeah. yeah. I mean, there was only two friend's grandmas that we would hang out at, and one of them was a, the, a party house toward the end of high school. 
Um, this one was we threw like a couple of house parties there. Like I maybe remember two or three. Well, there was one. There was one uh, where I found like an old rifle. Oh yes, and I was hitting people with it. Yep, that was the one where you. Were, yes, you were fucking. Uh, I was. I was doing Call of Duty. Pistol whipping people. I was. Uh, that was the house that uh, someone flushed something that they were not supposed to flush. Condom. And it just started pouring. And we had to shut the water off to the whole house. Bro. Yeah. That's insane. I didn't know that. Yeah, that was bad. That was really bad. I remember. Oh, man. I remember coming down to the basement and just being like, this is like, it was like a movie. I was like, how? It looked like what the, the basement fuck? in. Uh, Fuck, what movie? Home Alone. It is Home Alone, right? Yeah, it wasn't that bad. He was in like fucking six inches of water. Like the, on the floor though was like an inch Bro, Home and Alone a half. Was in more than six inches of water. He was in like a fucking foot and a half. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> but it was, it was almost like waist deep. It was like an inch and a half of water. Jeez. And there was a pipe where it was just gushing out. And I remember Keith just like screaming like, shut the water off. But we didn't know how. Well, yeah, it wasn't my house. Yeah, exactly, it wasn't. It wasn't their house either. Hey, it was no one's house, honestly. God, that poor woman is—is is that grandmother still alive? I have no idea. If only she knew. She was away for the summer. We tried to fix it, but it ended up happening. Did she ever find out? Do we ever know? Hundred percent, she found out. Yeah, she did. Yeah, bro, I forgot that part. I guess I must yeah. have not learned about that part. Yeah, but it was a good party, I guess. I guess I don't really remember that party in specifically. I do remember there being no air conditioning in the whole thing. There was floor. no air conditioning. I remember that. I remember, uh, oh, maybe I shouldn't tell this story. I remember uh, someone giving a Stone Cold Stunner to somebody else. Oh, yeah. And this person sold better than any person that you've ever seen. The Rock, fucking Shane McMahon. Yeah. Went down, popped up, and went just straight back. They got a real stunner. And let me tell you this right now. On TV, it doesn't look like it hurt that bad. But that day that I saw the stunner. When you're not expecting it yeah. and you get pulled, you get your head and neck. I thought I saw someone's fucking neck break. That was crazy. Yes. They honestly, legitimately believe that someone was severely hurt. Yeah. That was a good time. Good time. Todd, good if time. you could go, I think I've asked this question. You'd go back and live like a year of your life at the age of like 16, 17, 18. Um, I think you could bring your money, Joey. <laughs> <laughs> um, oh man, what was what was what was the currency exchange rate at that point? Oh, I don't know. Before inflation, rate of interest, about? rate of interest. Um, <laughs> post recession, I'll be there. I'll say this: I think at this point in my life, I would go back to when we were kids, and the summers were like start at seven a.m. I would go to the park come home and like eat something, go back to the park and then uh, go home for dinner. And then we'd be out like all night and like we'd, playing like manhunt or sports, like the entire time. Yeah. I would probably go back to that cause that was really enjoyable. Uh, and there was just like, I don't know. You're just fucking completely ignorant to the entire world. And it was just like cool that it was God, like to be ignorant. The world again. was 10 blocks. It was great. Um, but I, I do feel like, this time period that I'm having now will be the one that I eventually will want to go back to. Yeah. For different reasons, I'm in the same boat. Like I would, cause I know it'll eventually be like when my kids are kids. Like, yeah. You know what of I course, mean? Like yeah. eventually they'll be like old and like angry and I'll be pissed at them. And they'll hate you and, and shit. they'll hate me. Yeah. You know, just the cycle continues. I know. And I'll just be like, I, w I remember when you were kids and you couldn't talk. Boy, was that nice. Well, wait, That's the a, end of that sentence. It was a good time. <laughs> All right, before we move on here, uh, let's get to the, the sponsors for today. The first one being FitBod, okay? The summer is here, but it's not too late because it's going to stay hot until, like, September, October. So uh, if you want to get in shape, you want to get some six-packs abs before the six packs abs before the summer ends, uh, you can do that um, with FitBod. Honestly, you don't need six-packs abs, though. Why do I keep saying six-packs? Six-pack abs. You just want to get in good shape. You want to be in better shape than you are currently. Uh, you can use the FitBot app, and it's great. Uh, they understand that not every workout plan is designed for everyone. So you just go on the internet and download a random one. Doesn't mean that's going to work for you, but with their app, uh, they create a custom dynamic program based on your goals, experience, and equipment. So if you want to lose weight, or you want to put on muscle, you want to do both, you want to, you know, whatever you want to do, uh, you can, you know, plug all that information in, and it'll kick back 
uh, something for it. Their algorithm uses uh, data and analytics to build your best workout and maximize results. Um, and it also you know, tracks your recovery, your achievements, these types of things that are important uh, when following a workout plan. Um, and today you can get 25% off your subscription or try out the app for free when you sign up at fitbod.me slash basement. That is fitbod.me slash basement. 25% off your subscription or try it for free uh, at fitbod.me slash basement. Okay. Uh, next up we have Shopify. Uh, Shopify gives entrepreneurs everything they need to scale their business big or small doesn't matter shopify is the one you want to use i've been using shopify for years i don't even know of anything else that exists to be honest with you that's how big uh shopify is everyone i know that has a small business or a big business they use shopify um and it is amazing um and you can use it too if you want to start a business or you are selling something through a third party website or something like that uh definitely go check out shopify they're the best they power millions of business um they also give you a huge suite of features where you can track all of the analytics and insight to where the traffic is coming from, retargeting these people. All of it's very like useful information. They do a good job of making it organized so you can understand it and use it to uh, further your business. Um, and now you can go to shopify.com slash basement, all lowercase, and get a free 14-day trial and get full access to Shopify's entire suite of features. Grow your business with Shopify today. Go to shopify.com slash basement right now. Uh, again, that is shopify.com slash basement. And lastly here, we have prize picks. Okay, the NFL season's coming up, and there's this new thing called prize picks that is super fun. Uh, basically, you pick two to five players, and if they go, if they score more or less than their prize picks projection, you can win up to 10x your money on any entry. Okay, you're not competing against other people. You're just competing against the projections that they have made. Uh, it offers projections on any sport you watch, including NFL, NBA, MLB, NHL, PGA, disc golf, Euro basketball, cricket. Like, it's all there. Um, so go check them out. Entries can be made in just 60 seconds or less. It's that easy. Safe and fast withdrawals. It's a lot of fun, too. Uh, currently operational in over 30 states and Canada. Uh, download the Prize Picks app or go to prizepicks.com to sign up. Uh, first time users can receive a 100% instant deposit match up to $100. So if you put $100 in, they'll put another $100 and you have $200 to play with uh, with the promo code BASEMENT. Again, you will get a 100% instant deposit match up to $100 with the promo code BASEMENT. Um, yeah, so use the code BASEMENT. Put in whatever you want, and they will match it. You put in twenty dollars, they'll give you twenty bucks, and now you have forty dollars to play with. So, go check out Prize Picks. And uh, yeah, that's all we have for. While we're today. telling you about those friends of the show ads, by the way, make sure you go check out the Patreon. I know I mentioned it briefly a couple minutes ago. Patreon.com/slash The Basement Yard. Well, you guys know what Patreon is. It's basically a subscription service where you get more of The Basement Yard. Yes, I couldn't say subscription, but now I can say it now. That first tier that you sign up for. Well, guess what? These weekly episodes that you get every Monday morning, you can get them a week in advance, seven whole days before anybody else. And when you go on YouTube and you see like, oh my God, so and so commented six days ago. How the heck? Oh my God, they got in in the conversation. Oh my God, how? Guess what? Patreon is the way that they made it happen. And then that next tier. Well, that next tier. That's where you get the. Sweet goodness, baby. Uh, you get exclusive episodes every single Friday morning where we tend to be a little more off the rails. We tend to say whatever the heck we want and do whatever the hell we want. Why are you? <laughs> that was from, I think you should leave. Uh, but uh, so go check it out. Uh, if you continue to support us, it'll be very, very, very helpful. But also, <laughs> uh, uh, we're going to be, we, we've done stuff when we hit different goals. Um, I did the one chip challenge. I had my pussy waxed. I had... <laughs> You know, there's just so much stuff that I've done for the show. So at 12,000, Joey's going to be doing something. We're not ready to tell you exactly what it is yet, but guess what? You're going to want to help us get there. So patreon.com slash the basement yard. Go check it out right now. I promise you it's worth it. You don't remember that? Where he's like, welcome to the post 10 p.m. tour where no children are allowed. And you could say whatever the hell you want. I do. I didn't get it, but I understood immediately. <laughs> he's like, jizz. All right. Big fat. No, he says, uh, <laughs> he goes, <laughs> he goes, you said that we could say whatever you want. You can. All right. Big fat load to come then. Big fat load to come. <laughs> if you guys don't know what we're talking about, it's uh, I think you should leave on Netflix. I Tim love Robinson. this sauce. That's, I swear to God, I've done that like three times since the episode has started. Worth it every time. Guys. It sneaks up on you. Secrethandshake.shop. It's so fucking good. I bought five bottles. And I intend on buying 20 more. Honestly, I... 
A bottle usually lasts me like I can I can eat like a third of the bottle with one meal. I swear to God, I can too. This is the thing: turn it into a pyramid scheme. Okay. Buy five bottles, give them out to four people, <laughs> tell them <laughs> they buy five. They bottles. buy five bottles <laughs> and give it to five people. Yeah. You do that like five, six times. You got the whole population on the planet eating then this stuff. Then we derail a bunch of families, take all their life savings. Bingo. And, and just go start, to jail. And just start having absolute. But you go to a rich person jail, which ha- is just like chess. Which, yeah. You play chess. You and play then... chess and you're in you're like a cool like plastic yeah. room. You meet some other rich guys. You play chess. Yeah. You play chess. You play tennis. Yeah. You, your food is like. Fast food. Oh no. Oh jeez. Yeah. You know what a problem. It's you edible to, though. It's edible. It definitely is. Yeah. TV. And then you get out and you go to like one of those like Ponzi pyramid scheme type rallies that they have in like Vegas, being like, "We love Advocare." I mean, oh, but maybe that was a little too real. I don't know what that is. You don't know Advocare? No. Boy, there were. Uh, you don't have to tell me. Uh, yeah. I don't care. You quite... know what I do care about though. Hmm. Two things, actually, never mind. I was gonna, never mind. But the thing I was gonna talk about is that uh, the Choco Taco. R.I.P. Choco Taco. Why would you discontinue this treat? I don't understand. I, uh, to, I thought it was like a very popular ice cream. Uh, Frankie, don't do this. <laughs> Tell listen, me, you don't like Choco Taco. Well, let me let me start with this. Start with yes or no, start, bitch. Let me start with this. I am a child of the '90s. Um, my taste for ice cream treats knows no bounds. I love ice cream. I was never a Choco Taco fan. You're I, really starting to piss me off. I felt it was overrated. How can this be overrated? And Waffle cone, chocolate, ice cream. In the form of a taco. What else was in there, Luigi? <laughs> Choco cream. I, in, in theory, it is... An absolute stellar. No, in practice. No. It, and that in practice, execution of the Choco Taco has been lacking. What was what was the problem? When you want a waffle cone or a sugar cone, whatever they, the cones are called. It's waffle, you stupid When you bitch. bite into it, you want a crunch. Choco Taco. There was crunch. No, there wasn't. There was crunch. It was like soft. It in, was in like parts, you were eating an ice cream sandwich parts. that you wanted to be crunchy. The no. Choco Taco was an overrated dessert. You're a... Bastard. Pretty close. <laughs> Listen, the Choco Taco. What's better than a Choco Taco? I mean, uh, how much time do you got? I'll f- it's my show. All right, you ready? <laughs> you ready? I'm gonna name three things off an ice cream truck. Five things off an ice cream truck that are better. No, don't do it. Don't. You ready? It's not just the ice cream truck. That's where you get the Choco Tacos from, Joe. I'm talking about... That's where you get the Choco Tacos. You went to a store and found a Choco Taco? No, you didn't. Yes, you did, bitch. No, you don't. You don't find Choco Tacos in stores. You find right. them. They're best off of a disgusting smelling piece of diesel <laughs> fuel burning, <laughs> fucking destroying the environment ice cream truck. That's a fact. That has a racist tune riding through the streets of New York City. Why is it racist? Go look it up. Okay. All I'm saying is you have Tweety Birds. Way better than a Choco Taco. Holy shit, no, they're not. You have Ninja Turtles. That's the same Way fucking pot. better. Frankie, you have, Frankie, that's the same you thing. You have Bugs Bunny. That's also the Way same thing. Way better. Frankie, you have these are two the ball same. screw balls. Hold on, hold on, hold on. No, no, no. no. Frankie, Frankie, wait, 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 wait. I, Frankie, hold on, hold on. I know Eons that Frankie. better. Stop, stop talking for a second. I know that we're doing a show and it's supposed to be funny. We're, like, yeah, we're, this, this is not a joke. And, and like, it was a funny bit to be like, oh my God, all those things are like different shapes with the same ice cream. No, this is not a bit. No, no, no. That was, that was funny to do that. Whatever. The back and forth was really funny. Okay. But you I closed your computer. But hold, yes, because I, the, when you said two ball screw ball, were you trying to get a rise out of me, or you really think that a two ball screw ball is better than a choco taco? A because, two ball hold on, because if I just before you answer, if you answer that question, yes, I'm gonna come over there and grab you by the neck and squeeze. Think of how a two ball screwball is constructed. The gum balls in the bottom? Yes. Incredible. I'd rather eat a mothball. You have to I'd work. rather eat a moth. You have to first of all, mothballs smell delicious. Second of all, moth protein. What do you get out of a Choco Taco? You get this soft fucking little limp dick fucking 
talk chocolate shell, uh, uh, ice cream cone shell, and then you bite into it, and it's there's never enough ice cream, and the chocolate to ice cream ratio is a little off. I will say that a two ball screwball is like digging for gold, baby. It's like it's like playing roulette. Are you fucking it's mad? Like playing roulette at, and hitting your number, baby, double zeros, because you get it and you're like. Mm. This is delicious. Wow, I'm going to keep going. Oh, look, this has an ergonomical design that fits right into the into my hand. Helps melt the sides because of the heat of my hand. Mm-mm-mm, mm-mm-mm. What's this at the bottom? A two, not just one, but two of the two shittiest pieces of gum on, on the earth. Ball. And then, let's not talk about, Charlie, sit your ass down, you son of a bitch. Now, Don't you dare yell at my dog. You want to get the Tweety Birds? Tweety Birds, the most underrated of all the characters, okay? Bugs Bunnies, what's the, what? It's gray. Why does it taste like fruit? We don't know. We don't care. Delicious. They also have gumball eyeballs. Ninja Turtles, dude. You're going to tell me you opened up a Ninja Turtles and you didn't see that orange uh, 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 domino mask? And you go, oh my God, I got Michelangelo. Who did you get? You got Raphael. No one likes you. Way better than a Choco Taco. Choco Tacos were overrated. And that's probably why their dumb ass has been put 10 feet in the fucking ground. It's with six the rest feet. Of, I don't know. They're getting buried deeper because we want to forget them bastards. They're getting buried out there. They're getting fucking taken out. Boom, back in the head. They're getting two, sh one shot in the back of the head, execution, mob style, and they're getting put right in the ground. Charlie thinks you're getting into a fight right now, and this isn't a fight. This is a massacre on my part. Choco Tacos, in design, stellar. It's in execution, they deserve to be dead and gone. Honestly, it's crazy that you can talk for that long and still be a bitch. <laughs> you bitch, you bastard. When was the last time you had a Choco Taco, honestly? Maybe a couple years ago. Within my adult life. <laughs> Put it like that. Within so too my soon. Adult life. So too soon. <laughs> They're really fucking good. They were I will say this. Well, how do you feel about ice cream sandwiches? Way better. I love ice cream sandwiches. I was going to... Because if you were going to shit on Best that... Best part of the ice cream sandwich? Your fingers get the chocolate on them? Oh, no. I don't like that. Oh, I love it. I was going to say licking it like a fucking... Like a little vagina. Oh, you love to do that shit. Joey, by the way... What, lick vaginas? All, well, yeah, that. <laughs> <laughs> no, like you take the side... I know, like, yeah, I know what you're doing. But then the sides get all like the... Your, your like I know, but it feels... Grossness like, on it. I like just like turning it. You know what I mean? We'll do that one more time. Like that? I don't know what I'm Open doing. your mouth when you do it. Put your tongue out. That's No, the, you're trying to set me up. Chocolate ice cream... Ice cream sandwiches are way better than a chocolate taco. I literally... I, I prefer an ice cream sandwich. I also... Can't eat one. Yeah, you need two. I need three. I need, and even the big ones, like they're they're like, oh, get a big one, it'll satisfy. You. No, I need two of the no, big I need ones two. too. Yeah, and and the ones, but the ones that were better were the one that came in the paper wrapping. They don't come in. No, paper they come wrapping? in plastic wrapping now. Oh, I don't. Bro, I can name, th no joke, ten things Mr. Softy has that is better than a Choco Taco. Nah, dude, the Choco Taco is really good. You, but, you, but but let's be fair for a second. Can we just be fair before you just go on a fucking tirade that means nothing? The fucking Bugs Bunny, the Tweety Bird, and the Ninja Turtle are all the same thing. Bite your fucking tongue. Frankie, they are the same thing. Yeah? Yes. One of them is green, one of them is yellow and pink, the other one is gray and white. Don't okay. ask me what those flavors equate to in okay. the real world, but they are delicious. I can equate it to something right now. Do you have a favorite M&M? &M? Because yeah. you're also an idiot. No. First of all, everyone has a favorite M&M. &M. Which Joey. one? Joey. Three, two, one. Red. One, you're a basic bitch. Two, I hate to pull the wool over your eyes at 30 years old, but they all are the same. I know same. they all taste the same, Joey. That's like, let me guess, you have a favorite Skittle too. All I'm saying Those taste is different. That all I'm saying is the Choco Taco was like the, like, it was like the Joe Biden of ice creams. Everyone was like, oh my God, <laughs> this is way better. Way better. <laughs> oh my God, this is so cool. Look at this. Look at this. Look at what you're making here. And then? And then you had it and you're like, it's a little soft. <laughs> <laughs> it's a little, okay. It's, it's, you know, okay. I'll give it another shot. I thought this was going to be I'll there. I'll give it another <laughs> shot. The next time you get it, you're like, it could be, I got it from the same spot. It could be, it's not as good. Third, fourth time you get it, you're like, now wait a second. <laughs> That's funny. Bring the Choco Taco out. I don't pasture. agree though. I don't agree. About Biden or the Choco Taco? I, I, I like the analogy, but I don't think it applies to the Choco Taco. I think we had an opportunity, Joe. Secret handshake foods. Yes. We have an opportunity to make history. And bring back instead the Choco of, Taco. No, but instead of 
criticizing and thinking about the death of the Chaco Taco, we have an opportunity to, to, to do something different with the world. Give the world its first spicy ice cream sandwich. Okay. <laughs> we have an opportunity. The way you're speaking. So the, like you're oh, don't stage. shut up. Shut up. Shut up. I'm speaking like all your fucking rich friends are like, there was a chance that we might be able to revolutionize the way that the market equates to the three times downside. <laughs> okay. Three tenths. <laughs> three, three tenths. What if I uh, just because I'm not an entrepreneur enough? No, that's not what I was referring what? to. I was saying the way that you were speaking, with like the the. Well, just because I didn't guess an email. No, because you. <laughs> no, you were theatrical. I am theatrical. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> theatrical. All I'm saying is I love you. Wait, what? what not including these fucking. Pops, because I know that's your answer. But what are you, what's your other like top three of, of like an ice cream truck? It's a two ball screwballs at the top of that list. It might be. That's like insane. They dude. haven't made them in a while, but do you remember Great White Sharks? That's the same thing too. No, it's just it's a big lemon shark. Bro, you're literally picking the same ice pop. No, I'm not, Joey. This is more icy than it is creamy. Okay. Uh, what else? I mean, soft serve from Mr. Softy. Yeah, what was your order for that? Vanilla rainbow sprinkles. It, you're, did you ever do a double cone type of thing? You ever, I never like, did a double cone because I wasn't rich. Were those a lot more? I had a dollar, and I was getting the ice cream. Si Bro, you remember when shakes were affordable? And then I was like, okay. Bro, uh, Mr. Softy recently came to my house, and a fucking double cone is like seven fifty. Get the fuck out of it's here. It's nuts, dude. You basically got a fucking... I pay half your mortgage in order to have some ice cream nowadays. Yeah. I wasn't any of those. I wasn't also one of those cool kids. I get them dipped in the, the like the hard. I, I used to get that. That was, I, that wasn't like my main order. I was also like a vanilla rainbow sprinkle kind of girl. We know you are. But the, the cherry dip, that's good. I was never a good cherry dip guy. I liked it. I never a cherry. I also didn't get, they, people were getting fucking banana splits and sundays with fucking fruit on them from Microsoft. And he's like, bro, what are you eating? Yeah. Well, that's fucking insane. How long has that been in there? Yeah. Like the fuck is going on? I'll, also, I've never had a banana split in my life. I have. They're they're good. But like bananas and ice cream. Yeah, dude, they're delicious. Never had it. They're really good. So weird. It looks really cool. I would love to go like an ice cream parlor where people are wearing little hats and shit, and they're and they're doing whipped cream out of a little like thing. Oh, like out of the it's, thing. It's that, like a skinny tube. It's like shh. the thing that Steve-O would do whippets with. Yes. Yes, I know those. It's crazy how that's how we know what that is. But I would <laughs> love to go to a place like that. And it's just like, just like fudge on it. It's like hot, but cold. Yeah. But also Fuck. I don't like my, I, I have decided to spend my life with a psychopath who likes to have their ice cream kind of melted. They call it, and I quote soupy. I'm talking about my wife. Yeah. I know who you're talking about. She soupy. She likes her ice cream soupy <laughs> to mm. the point where she lets it melt a little bit before she eats it. And I'm like, bro, it's ice cream. If you want I, if you want it soupy, just get a fucking jug of heavy cream. cream and drink it. Yeah. I can't do it. Yeah, I don't like that. I like it to be a little hard. I want it hard. I want it hard. I don't want it to be hard the whole time. I like when you're near the end, then you can start to like, you know what I'm saying? Like by the end, you get a little bit of liquid, but also still icy. No, nah, I like it. I like it. I try to finish it while it's still all ice. No, I tried it too, but you know. You know what? What's your favorite ice cream? Go. Uh, ooh. Like from the store, you're going to buy it. Like you just get like. Just a, like, are we talking like plain Jane flavors or like, are we yeah, gonna, yeah. like a not specific like, brand? No, not like some Ben and Jerry's thing where there, it's like. There's a Ben crazy. and Jerry's salted caramel core what? with blondies. I haven't had that, but it's probably oh, unbelievable. Bro, it's the greatest. I bought it once. Miles gonna, just ate the core of caramel. Yo, that's a fireable offense. Uh, honestly, he almost got. Yeah. He almost got put on furlough. Yeah. Uh,. <laughs> I would say honestly, natural vanilla, like with the little like with the little dots in it. You know yeah, what I'm talking yeah, about? I know what you're talking about. I, I also like, like I'm a big dulce de leche. I love caramel, so like like uh, you don't like dulce de leche. Wait, what about cookie dough? It's okay. Really? I feel like I'm like I'm like tempting fate by eating that and like being like I might get salmonella with my ice cream. No, come on. Well, that's what I feel like, Joey. Oh, I'm just saying. I'm not a big. I'm not a big like. Chocolate ice cream fan. It's I feel like it's too much. 
I don't like chocolate ice I'll cream. I'll drizzle chocolate on, you know. I like that. You know, but. But I don't like chocolate ice. I mean, I like chocolate ice cream. Don't get me wrong. I like it, but I wouldn't choose it. I would it. never go for it. I wouldn't I like order the vanilla, it. bro. Yeah. But I do, li- but I like chocolate chips in my vanilla. Oh, yeah. And I like some chocolate drizz. I know it's not technically ice cream, and it's probably just frozen high fructose corn syrup, but uh, Baskin Robbins Rainbow Sherbet, oh, there are peepees. Dude, that's dope. Tell me about the Civil War again. It, <laughs> fucking old Civil person. War? Sherbet? Rainbow Sherbet from, from fucking... <laughs> I also say Sherbet. Yeah, who the fuck? <laughs> sherbet? It, it, I think it is Sherbet, though. No? Your mom once came home with a tub of like the like store-bought Sherbet. No, this bitch used to buy a lo- It looked like a loaf of bread. Damn. You dropped a hard bitch on your mom. Yeah, dude. She used to buy like this thing. It looked like a loaf of bread, but it was orange and it was just ice cream. And I was yeah, like, that's, that sucked. Yeah, I don't that know sucked so what big. the hell she was thinking. Can we agree that? on one thing? One thing only? Yeah. Creamsicles are disgusting. I don't know that I've had one, but I don't like that kind of, I don't like orange shit. I love that's orange. That's not true. I love orange ices. Those are good. L- Ligulis? Bro, there's nothing better than being in a park and a little fucking Spanish lady pushing one of those things, and there's it's a dollar. Oh, in a and paper you get a cup, ice and a paper thing. No, but nothing see, nothing better. No, but I didn't get orange because they never had orange. The one that I would got come lemon to the park. lime from. Some I was gonna say once. rainbow and lemon lime. Lemon lime is off the because rainbow was blueberry, cherry, and lemon, or sometimes coconut. Yeah, rainbow's my shit. Oh my god, uh, lemon too. Just lemon, like old school lemon. Yeah, but Ligulis orange ice, <sighs> bro. I swear to God, I can eat forty pounds of it. You know what's a fucking stupid candy? Rock candy. What the fuck is this? Fuck you. It's delicious. Let me guess. You put it in your tea or coffee or whatever that people... What Second of all, hard fuck you. Don't you dare talk about my tea like that, you stupid bitch. Rock candy is so stupid, dude. Rock candy is just fucking candy, dude. Nah, it's up there with fucking wax lips and... Wax lips is not edible. It's wax. It's Rock stupid. candy is sugar. Crystallized sugar. It's stupid. It's not stupid. What do you like, Joey? You know what's stupid? Mike and Ike's and fucking hot tamales. Fuck you and your mom. Sorry. <laughs> you mentioned her before. I don't know why that... Liz, I, I love you. Literally, I love you so much. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Fuck you and your mom. Oh, God. You ever <laughs> say that again? <laughs> um, I, feel, I actually feel really bad about that one. I'm sorry. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're all offended. Um, your mom might be. No, nah, she's all right. She's doing well. Sorry yesterday. Okay. There was a christening. Slam and wine. Slam and wine. Um, <laughs> I was in church for the first time. And you didn't spontaneously combust? Not for the first time. For the first time in a while. Because you, you have broken some sins. I'll tell you this. Well, you've <laughs> broken committed some, sin. some sins. <laughs> yeah. I've broken some commandments. Um, the church smells exactly the same. Well, yeah. There's church scent. It's crazy. Hey, let me ask you. Mm-hmm. Holy water. Can you drink it? I don't think you're supposed to. Why? You're supposed to just bless motherfuckers. But with like, it. what, what, what is it? But people are putting their hands in that shit. Okay, I get a brand new bottle of holy water. If I drink it, what happens to me? Nothing. It's just water. But it's why is it? It has a smell to it. You know that. No, they don't put anything in it. They just fucking go over it and they go. Oh, so any water is holy water. No, they have to bless it. You stupid Could asshole. Did you bless this water and make it holy water? Yeah, I'm a priest. You're a, you're a child of God. You've been confirmed in the I eyes of the Lord and our shit. Savior, Jesus H. Christ. I also can't marry people yet. I have to go online and take a quiz or something. Wait, what? They have to be, like, ordained, don't you? Oh, to get do the marrying. Yeah. Not become a married. No, you. if you want to become a married in the Catholic Church, you have to go to, like, a fucking whole day thing that's, like, eight hours. It's called pre-cana. You never heard of this? What? Dude. So my bro, why do you guys try to make shit all fucking like you so much got, harder? Yeah, hold on. Bro, no, you're a part of my you were, you were conformed. You Apostle were, Paul? You were confirmed in the eyes of the Lord. So you got to fucking die for his sins now. So let me fucking bless you <laughs> with some shit. Why do you guys make this shit harder? Bro, I don't know. It's so, it's so crazy. You want to get like, married. Why can't they just do it? Why do they need to go to fucking school? So the, so the idea behind it is, like, you have to go to this thing. It's legit like eight hours. And it costs money. But they say it's a donation. It's not. Okay. Um, but you have to go and take this thing and you do like, there's like worksheets that have stuff on it. Like how many kids would you want? But you take them separately and then you compare answers and see where you guys are like, Oh, um, so if you like get one see, wrong, are you fucked? No, it's to see like, if you guys are like a good match for each other, like they think you're going to find out in this fucking class. They're like, actually, I don't know if I want to be with this man. 
because he wants four kids and I want no like one kid. And it's like, you think that's something you didn't speak about prior to that? This is my point. But this is, they have this thing there, and you need to do it in order to get married in a Catholic church. Yeah. To my knowledge, maybe I'm wrong, but like that's what they. My, I know that my sister and my brother-in-law had to do that, uh, and his answers were fucking hilarious. Oh, he fucked with it the whole time. Yeah, he nothing was like it was like what What do you think that What do you think is your partner's favorite part about you? And he just wrote, "I'm yoked," <laughs> and on it. And I don't know if you had to present it or like hand it in or something. Oh my god, I but, wish. But but uh, she kept taking pictures of his paper. And he had like hilarious. I didn't answers. know this. Why do you have to go to school longer to get married than you do how to learn to drive? What? No, you do. Driving school takes a while. Oh, it didn't. Well, I actually didn't go to driving school. I didn't. I went to. I took a, my defensive driving course, which was like two hours, and then I did like three times driving with someone, which was maybe a half hour each, and then I took the test. You got to be more prepared to When'd marry. When did you get so- your license? Eighteen. No, 20. Oh, wow. I got mine like when I was 18. I didn't see the point in it. I didn't have a car. I definitely wanted one, but I just didn't want to stay after school and do all like the driving things. I had gotten my permit at 18, uh, 17. Yeah, I got, I don't know. I think I was 17 when I got mine too. But then I like just learned how to drive and then I had to take one class, like a, like sit there and watch a video for like whatever it was. And then I took my test. Only got five points off. I think I got a perfect score. To my knowledge, they don't really do that. I think I did it. I don't know. I don't see any evidence of that. I only got five points off. That's all I'm going to say. I think I did perfect. She said I, I Where do you have to drive? I had to drive by the dumps. I drove on like 21st Street and 20th Avenue. It was weird too because MP came. It was like in the morning. I, that's exactly where I was too. Yeah. And then he was like, but I wasn't down the dumps. I went down 21st Street. Yeah, I like and went down that right. street, made uh, came down back toward the dumps, double like parked near uh, the hydrant. dumps are Nineteenth Avenue. It was nowhere near there. It Is was it? near Con Ed. Yeah, like Twentieth yeah. Avenue. Yes. Yeah. 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 All right. Whatever. But uh, I remember I was standing there with Impian because he had just gotten his license like the month before or something, and he goes, "Yo, you should be good." He's like, uh, as long as you don't get that woman, because I heard that she's like the she just made a beeline for me in the middle of his sentence, and I was like, great. Yeah, but no, I got we were a fine. Score, bitch! I did better than you. Wow, we get it. You're amazing. I am actually. I just want you to not forget that. When I... Well, the reason why I got five points off was because I am a white male. Well. And we and and we don't get God anything forbid- handed to us anymore. That's right. You we can't. have to work really hard for our stuff. Oh, I bet you do. And that's why. Yeah. They just gave it to you, though. Yeah. Go, oh, man. Boy, oh boy. Francisco Alvarez. Oh, fine here. Jeez. Fucking God Almighty. I wanna- we have some friends with the most like. I want to crack this over your fucking skull. Like. I well, my name's not that white because Santa Claus is not common. Like, if I was like, you're right, Smith. Or something. Smith isn't necessarily a very common. Well, you know what I mean. Name. Like, it's just like a like a, just a white name. Like, like I don't know, whatever. But like, you're Francisco Alvarez. Like, that's fucking fucking Spanish. Yo soy el colombiano. Yeah, you know. And then Ahmed is Ahmed Hussein. Like, that's it's like. We can just give out our socials while you're at it. Yeah, bro. We have Anthony Davino. I met a guy this weekend, who uh, at the wedding that I went to. And he knew all these random things about me that, like, no one knows. Like what? And no, I don't know. But I was a little drunk, so I was like, well, you know, my fucking social, get the fuck out of here. And what is it, what does he know? I kind of need to know. Oh, tell me offline. Yeah, it was weird. Because now I'm interested. He, like, mentioned that, like, our friends play in a soccer league. Well. And he, I was like. He probably knows that through other ways. Yeah. But, I, but it was just, like, a random guy. Like, it was just weird. But mm. I was just like, yeah. Anyway, had a good time. That good is time. weird. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Um, but anyway, uh, you guys can go follow me at Joe Santagato. Go follow the show at the Basement Yard on TikTok and Instagram. And Frank, where can they find you, bud? I might do a little more too. Mm-hmm. Alvarez eighty eighty five on Twitter. The Frank Alvarez on Twitch, I guess, if you want, and Instagram. But uh, go check out Patreon. patreoncom slash the Basement Yard. Get these weekly episodes a week in advance. Get the exclusive episodes every single Friday. Make sure you go to Secret Handshakes. Just Google Secret Handshake Foods or Google Everything Bagel Hot Sauce. There's one of them in the world, and it's right here in my hand. I mean, there's more than one bottle, but there's one 
Concoction. Do the shake noise. Go get it, folks. It's fucking delicious. Go get it. Support. Secrethandshake.shop. Go get yourself a bottle, you bitch. Mm -hmm. All right? Get two bottles. I got five. And that is all. We'll see you guys next time.